Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. Solutions for WordPress. Uh, this video is about how to install WordPress uh, manually in a subdomain. I want to I want to set up a demo a demo domain for testing plugins and themes and, and all sorts of different stuff um, because I don't really want to test them on my on the main installation. Uh, I prefer to test them uh, on a, on a demo. A, a, a demo site and, uh, and that way I can change the things around and just play around with it and not worry um, about messing up my, my main site so uh, I've written a tutorial on it I've also created a video already on YouTube for uh, installing WordPress manually but let's just look at the full process if you want to install WordPress in a, um, in a subdomain now I'll be using cPanel to do this and I'm using VPS so I'm not I, I don't have access to simple scripts or Fantastico which are the uh, the software to install WordPress quickly uh, using one click so I'll have to do it manually so uh, the first step is once you log into cPanel go down to subdomains and we'll just create a subdomain so I'll call this demo create okay so that's done uh, now let's just go back to cPanel and if I go into file manager for wpsites.net which is my primary domain you see it's just created a file, file folder directory called demo so this is the uh, location where I want to install WordPress so I'll have to download WordPress now um, so I'll go to a WordPress uh, download. Here we go. And I'll take the tar, the tar.gz, the uh, zipped uh, version. This one, the tar version rather than the zip. So I'll download this to my desktop. and then I'll just upload that into the demo folder which I've just created for the subdomain so is that working? Or oh, yes, it should be where's the Yeah, so that was pretty quick. Okay, so we just upload this file now into that demo folder which I've just created, which is here on my server demo. So I'll just upload that. I'll locate the uh, the WordPress files. Um, where are they? Here. Oh, I just downloaded two. It was really super fast. Normally it's not that fast. So I'll just upload that. It might take a while, upload speed's a bit slow, so I'll... Why is it done? No, it's going to take uh, a couple of minutes, so I'll just pause the video. Okay, so here we are here, it's, it's completed now. So I should have WordPress here. Okay, so I'll just, um, I'll just extract the files. Okay, so there are all the WordPress files. Um, now is this how I want it? I'll just delete this tar zip now because I don't really... Now this is not really the way I want it. What I want to do is I want all these files inside WordPress in that location. So what I'll do is I'll just copy that address. Um, now let's select all. Select all these files and I'll just move these. I'll just copy them actually just in case. So. This is this is where I want the, the files to go. Okay, so they're all there. So if we go to demo now, let's have a look. Okay, I've got all the files in here. I'll just delete that WordPress folder. I don't need that. So these are all the files that are done. I have to create a database now. So I'll do that in uh, in cPanel and just scroll down here MySQL database wizard under databases 
click on this, all this demo. Uh, demo. We've got password. No, I don't want to that password. I'll put it in demo. One, two, three. Select all privileges. Now I'll just take a copy of this because I'll have to enter this information in the WP config file to connect the files to the database. So I'll just save them there. Next step. That's it. So the database has been created. So what I do now is I go into uh, scroll down here. I'm looking for the WP config, and here it is. Here I have to rename this from uh, WP. WP config sample to WP config, so I'll do that. Type PHP, and I'll just edit the uh, the database details. The new database I've just created. So I will open this folder up, and this is pretty straightforward. I put in the database name and username. Um, database user database name are the same so I'll just put these in here paste paste and the password which is demo123456 don't use this password if you're going to do this. It's, it's really better off having a 20-digit password. Uh, that's all I need to do. This is all I really need to do for the uh, for the WP config file. Save changes. Now I'll close this up. So that's all done. Now I have to run the installation script to install WordPress. So I'll delete that, I don't need that. Now in this tutorial that I've written you'll find there's a special URL that you have to go to. Um, to start the installation. And here it is here, it'll be yourdomain.com WP Admin Install. So in this case, the domain URL will be demo.wp sites slash admin. Okay. Here we go, here's WordPress, it's just that activated WordPress, so I put demo site for wpsites.net I'll change this password later, which you can do in the back end of WordPress uh, email address allow my site to appear in search engine, I don't want that because this is a, this is a demo site, I don't uh, I don't want it appearing in there. So here we go. We've just installed WordPress into a subdomain. The latest version of WordPress. Now the first thing to do, I'm not going to go into this in detail, but you should change the permalinks. This is the first thing you should do when you install WordPress. And post name's pretty good, or category post name. I'm just going to use post name. And that'll make your links up here, your unique permalinks to each page and post. It'll make them uh, what they call pretty permalinks. Otherwise, the defaults here, it's going to look like question mark P equals 1, 2, 3, and it's not good for search engine optimization. Okay, now plugins here. Um, Accusmats.spam, but I'm not really that worried about that. I don't really need these plugins, so I'll delete these. 
I could I could add Google Analytics to this as well, but there's no point. I want to keep it really minimal. I want to keep it fast. Um, I want to install a few different themes here because I want to test uh, different code on different themes. So I own a huge range of uh, premium themes and plugins and stuff. So I'll, I'll upload a few of those. If you're looking for a fantastic theme, I highly recommend you, you take a serious look at the Canvas theme from Woo Themes and also Thesis. Genesis is a, another good one, but I think Thesis and, and Canvas are probably better. Um, nothing against Genesis, I own it, I think it's a fantastic theme. So I'll just install a theme here. Um, WordPress. So here's the here's the range of uh, themes and plugins I own. Right, well, we'll just leave that for a moment. My second file here it is down here. It's on my desktop. So I'll just choose find canvas. Here it is. I'll just install the canvas there. And, uh, there you can see the massive range of different options. You've got design options and side options if you're using the, the canvas. There. It really is a fantastic thing. If you prefer to add all these different features uh, manually using PHP and CSS code, then I highly recommend Thesis. The, the users uh, to um, the user guide and their, their support for them are uh, uh, outstanding and the best in the business. So let's let's just take a look at what I've done. So here it is, it's just a demo site for WPSites.net. Now I can play around on, on this. I was actually using a uh, using WordPress uh, installed locally on my PC, uh, which is pretty fast. But I prefer to do it live. Um, it doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. But uh, so that, that's 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 the uh, the best way to install install WordPress in a subdomain. Uh, if you're using shared hosting, you you probably will be able to do that uh, using simple scripts or, or Fantastico, which are the programs provided by uh, your hosting company. Um, and, and it'll be a lot easier to do, to install WordPress rather than install it manually. So uh, there's more information on my site. Um, I've written I've written several tutorials on how to install WordPress. Um, probably ten different tutorials because there are a lot of different ways you can do it. It's under the install WordPress tab. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, there's seven different ways you can install WordPress. So. Uh, Cheers, thanks, thanks for watching and good luck.